Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in the Season of Discovery. Today we are in Zul Farak, and we have all of our quests. Pretty damn happy about this. I think I'll use Devotion R, maybe. Should I use Devotion R? Should we just go Sanctity? We'll go Sanctity. So what we have here is we got two Paladins, two Mages, and a uh, Druid Tank. The Druid Tank is level 50. The other Paladin who's not here at the moment is level 50. We have a level 50 no Mage Healer. And another 45 no Mage. Arcane, looks like. So here we go, guys. And we have four different quests. Five, actually. Scarab Shells, Troll Temper, Tiara the Deep, Devano Mana God, and Gazrilla. And we're actually going to be able to complete Gazrilla today. Because one of the people in this group have the mallet to summon Gazrilla. So, pretty damn fortunate that we are going to get the, the carrot on the stick. Now, I've heard that this doesn't stack with Rhett Paladins because I think Rhett Paladins already have 8% mount speed, but we'll see. I'm going to put it on anyways. I don't have another trinket slot, so we'll see what happens, but I guess we'll probably not uh, stack. Let's keep everybody buffed up here. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I haven't done Zulfarak in ages. Uh, stun that flash heal. How are we doing here? Might as well use Exorcist. I could kick. Oh man. I pulled this thing too. I think we'll stay with Exorcism. We don't need to kick. We'll be alright. Get him. Alright, so it looks like the other Paladin's here. It seems like... Does he have the same... Is he using the same aura as us? No, he's using Sanctity. Nice. And then I'm... I should use Devotion, I guess. He's using Sanctity. There we go. And it looks like he's using Salve on everybody. I don't think I need Salve. I, don't, I doubt I'll be able to pull off of a level 50 tank. But we'll take it. And what I mean by Salve is Blessing of Salvation reduces threat generated by 30%. We probably won't get all the quests done today, but we'll get uh, a few done, I hope. Here's our quest tracker, but I can't seem to pull it down. It's all good. <laughs> we won't worry about it. I rarely ever look at the quest tracker anyways, but... We have five to complete. There's some pretty good gear in here. I hope we get some of it. I doubt this level 50 Paladin will really want any of it. Maybe he will. Do you want the Scarab Shells? You should get quite a bit of XP from this, too. And the Leafs lost, guys. It was a rough game. Won't talk too much about it. But they lost. Don't have William Neolander playing. Something happened, I think, during the last game of the season. Maybe he got hurt. 
not too sure. But that's bad management by the Leafs if he did get hurt because a lot of teams decided to sit their players during the last game. The Leafs did not. And I guess uh, maybe they're paying for it. But it's an undisclosed issue why he's not playing, so I don't know. But that's the excuse I'm rolling with for why we lost. <laughs> The nice neck, a lot of stamina on it, only five strength. It's still better than what we have, so I guess we would need that. Nice. Already got an upgrade, guys. I guess even the BOEs in here are going to be amazing upgrades for, for us. We're actually entry level for this place is level 42. So pretty fortunate to be in here. Especially with a, a person who has the mallet. Let's check this out. Nine intellect, eight spirit shoulder piece, and then we got intellect strength waste. Man, not better. We're not gonna heal, so we'll use that. Oh, the bonus boss is here, Zarillus. Don't remember that guy. Maybe he's, he's new for Season of Discovery. It's been years since I've done ZF. <laughs> if I go the wrong way, say something. Oh, he's doing pretty good. If you guys want to see the DPS... I assume I'm not doing too great. <laughs> so I am the lowest level in the group, but you could check it out quick. We're about to turn it on. Oh, 38 attack power chest guard. Yeah, maybe we'll put that on. It's a lot of attack power. No stam on it, though, so I assume it's better than the one we got. It's more armor on it. That's a lot of attack power. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's catch up to everybody. You seem to be doing just fine without me. So I'll put that on. See what it's like. So all it is is just 38 attack power and four, over 400 armor. Assume that's better than and strength gain agi. They're losing a lot of stamina though, but since we're DPS, that shouldn't really matter. That much. And since it's a chess piece, I need to actually get a ruin. Which would be a uh, seal of martyrdom. Let's get that on there. Cloth bracers. And the Tyrant's Belt, 9 Strength, 3 Spirit. I don't think it's better than the one we have. More stamina. I mean, more strength. It's good for damage, but it's not that big of an upgrade. All right, so let's get in here. I kind of need the Scarab, so I'm going to drag him in. Paladin's Rackin. What's he using? Fader Strike, Judgment of Martyrdom, Seal of Martyrdom. He's using Consecration. Yeah, we should probably get it. Look into that. Consecration Dot. Pretty damn strong. Doing okay. Lowest damage. In the group. Just above the healer. This other Palin's racking those. It's good good to see. Wonder if we could see his uh No, can't.
can't check out his stats. A lot of BOEs on him, though. A bunch of BOEs. So maybe we're going to get a decent amount here. There's the next boss here, Thek of the Martyr. Do something nice drops off. Of Consecration's doing so much damage to these scarabs. And uh, the living flame to the living bomb. They just probably have a blast in here. Trying to get a couple scarab shells. They don't want to kill all the scarabs, I don't really mind. It's kind of up to the tank and I, I guess the mages. The mages could AOE this down so easy. And Paladin Tank would be great too. Consecration is awesome against Scarabs. I already got two shells. We'll take it. Oh, pull the, pull the doctor. Yeah, no wonder they don't bring uh, <laughs> levels to, to raids. I guess the, the DPS check is, is quite different. I assume if you have, like, close to this raid gear, like Gomergon gear, the character probably hits pretty damn hard. I assume that gear's still good. I'll try to get in there soon. Right, well, we almost have all the troll tempers we need. You now we'll get that quest done. time to come in here. It's 45. Maybe 44 would be better. A lifeblood amulet drops. 13 stamina, 50 armor. Maybe the tank would want that. He's going to need it for PvP. Cool. You are the tank. Get a quick heal here. No, oh, the mage is gonna start dotting scarabs. <laughs> Dot him up. Dot them up, dot them all up. Do it. Do it, Mr. Mage. Oh, no. Let me pull at least one scarab. At least he got a shell from that. We are flying through this, though. Yeah, this room's awesome. I used to pull this entire room as a tank. And then a bunch of mages would AOE it down, like all of these zombies. I don't think we're going to be open up too many chests here. Though. 
probably could you do uh yeah, you can stun them, nice. Some bosses you can't stun. chest a nice chest 12 stamina 11 strength versus our other chest that has stamina and st strength the agi i don't know that's better goblin nutcracker we have an axe that's better i think than that wow the nutcracker is pretty good i don't know if anybody needs that nobody did we got lucky this chest, I don't think we need the chest. We have a better one. I think the Carapace Attune Cache is better. It's like we're gonna do the zombies. It's good XP. Really good XP. Careful though. Maybe I should help heal a little bit. Good Wraith is still. Yeah, they hit pretty hard. But if you got a, you got some buffs and it's pretty good healing behind you, you can tank all of it for a little bit, and then you need mages to Nova at all. But these are uh, the XP runs. The XP runs actually end here. So. It's a run where you just come here, you pull all these uh, zombies, and then you reset the dungeon. Get, get a lot of XP for it. And a decent amount of loot as well to sell. You make a little bit of coin. Like some some of these graveyards, not all of them spawn zombies. Some of them just give you loot. How many you want? You want them all. It'd be so fun to do this as, ma as mages. I think mages are playing a ma mages best class in the game. <laughs> Just the AoE farming's a lot. You gotta enjoy AoE, AoE farming. Enjoy AoE farming, which is one of the best. But they are great at PvP, making money. They can teleport all over the world. They're best, best for traveling around. They're good at everything. Paladin's pretty good too. Awesome class. Once you get into tanking, there's going to be some pretty cool farms, I think, for for paladins. They were the best uh, gold farmers, gold makers in a uh, TBC. I think at the end of the classic, because once they got consecrated, they were able to tank, and they got a taunt as well. Um. They were able to do this, like, uh, this farm in Strat Live, Strat Undead, the Strat Home, and they would just farm a bunch of the mobs there and just make a ton of money. It's all raw gold here, raw gold farm. What a raw gold farm is, is just you uh, pick up loot like this, like junk, and just sell it. Sometimes they would probably get some BOEs they put on the auction house, but yeah, I, I think uh, at 60, uh, Paladins will be pretty awesome gold farmers. If it's still the same, unless they nerf it, maybe they'll nerf it, who knows. They were in TBC, but I think they're pretty damn good in Wrath too, probably. Paladin is an awesome class. Maybe it'll be my main season of discovery. I don't know, Wraith is dead. Some 
Master Sword. Okay, this will have a Sprout Totem. It's my job, get rid of the Totems. Where the heck did he die? Oh, he's out of range. Guess he's back here. Brutish Armed Guards of the Bear. Seven strength. Yeah, that's better. That is better than our Armed Guards. <laughs> this is where you get all the loot. In this dungeon. It seems like he's got a lot of BOA loot as well. Hey, can we res him? He's back there. Okay. We are complete the troll. We have completed troll temper scarab shells. We need three more. Tiara the deep. We get. Uh, Pretty soon, actually. Little boss. We got the bracers. Let's put them on. Starting to load up on plate, guys. I like it. Okay. Let's go that. Heal them up. There you go. Two more shells. I would even do multiple runs with these guys, but I, I think it's just gonna be get the quest done and we're we're done. Let the executions begin. Zero level. I don't think they really need to loot out here. We will be doing a few runs of this place, that's for sure. I'm hoping we can start getting into no more guard. Maybe we'll try that next. This is an awesome boss fight. I like, I kind of like this event. Maybe we can do like looking out over, over Zulfarak. Kind of want to get the temple in there. The snake temple. Look, there we go. We freed them from their cages. Open the cages, fight the horde. Die. I know I'm not a not a dwarf, but say I. Look at all the this is great for mages. This is another awesome thing mages could do. <laughs> so much fun as a mage this event. Here we go. I'm just gonna be unreal. Look at look at the paladin. Paladins do insane AoE damage. Like just drop in concentration. Go red or a trap. You got it. There you go. Red aura. I don't have it buff anymore. But uh Yeah, I guess it would be better for this than the armor. I guess we don't really need the survivability. I think it would just be better. Tank is doing just fine. Let's 
so many trolls. go round two. Yeah, I'm going to check out a new spec. I want to see what that consecration Greetings. spec is like. Let's get to talk to this guy. We don't have time to talk. We have to think about those trolls. Have a good one. Sergeant Bly. having a tough that's what i'm saying guys like see how good consecration is it's op it's, it's it's insane and that's why paladins well prop paladins are the best gold farmers in the game that's 60. And they are 70 as well interesting to see like which tank would be the best 60 as well. Third Warlock's really good right now. Common, I think, is considered the best tank. Paladin's probably up there. I think Warrior's not that good. Could be wrong about that, though. Bad Mojo Mass Dropped. Increases damage done by Shadow Spells and effects by up to 14. That's pretty good for Priests and uh, Warlocks. Zug Zug. Back to Devo. No longer need the spam. Devotion Aura? Okay. We'll Devo it. There we go. Yeah, it was just for that part, I guess. The armor's good. Just nice. Like, even though a few of these guys are pretty high level for this place. Survivability does help. To the uh, to the mages AFK. all good though. There we go. We got the rod. Nice. 
quest complete. Now off to the final boss. I think it's Zerillus. And there's the chief right there. Hopefully those shoulders drop. We really need shoulders. Fire's level 45 though. Wonder if he has good shoulders. Maybe uh Hakon needs them. Mordon would be a Mordon would be a great place to get into as well. I'm trying to do that dungeon soon. There we go. Reason why I'm giving everybody might is because I think uh, the other paladins giving out uh, wisdom to the mages. I don't think we need salve the on the mages. I don't think they're pulling off the tank. Drop. Leather helmet, 9 strength, 9 agility, 32 attack power helmet. These guys need it. I'll, uh, I'll just breathe, but I would take that. It's much better than, than the other helmet. just want to see if the other guy needs it. Wraith of Select Greed. Wild Diggy Lambo is selected greed. And he selected meat. Yeah, we'll let him take we'll let him take it. He rolled a four. I would have taken it off of him, but he's doing all that damage. We'll just let him take it. Could have rolled need, but it's an upgrade damage wise. It's pretty damn nice, but we're gonna do more of these. He's level fifty. We're going to get multiple attempts to, to, to this place. And we can't even wear it right now, right? We're only level 42. So once we hit 45, we'd have to wait to wear it. So he's got it on right now. Cool wolf helm. I opt to slay Gezra. I'm just happy to be in there and get these quests done. Gotten some decent loot too. Like we've, we've gotten a bunch of upgrades. Imagine that's like the, the last time I see that thing drop. I doubt it though. It's not that. <laughs> that would be kind of crappy, but. It is a nice helmet.
ahead. It keeps on clearing. She's down. And she pulls here. Another scare up here, too. There we go. We got Tiara at the deep from Hydromancer Dalratha. Quick run, really fast. All right, here we go. He's gonna ring the gong. Here comes Gazrilla. Gazrilla is actually a, a memory boss that you get to fight in in retail when the pre-patch comes out. Make sure we don't pull any more stuff here. We stand. Oh, we're in the, we're gonna die. We're in a bubble. We gotta fight in the water. I guess not. Yeah, you're supposed to fight him in the water. I forgot about that. But we're not doing that. I think we had bubble. Or slow fall, that helps too. Oh, guys, real scale armor. I'm gonna need that. Because why not? We got it. We're the only one who wanted it anyways. That's cool. Not many attempts to get Gazrilla armor, so... We'll take it. And there we go. We got the, the Gazrilla quest done as well. That was good. This guy's going to do more? I don't think so. Let's see what... Well, we've completed all four quests. The only one we need is Scarab Shells. And we got the... We got everything, pretty much. But if this guy keeps on pulling, we'll, uh... We'll hang out for a little bit. Okay, well, I don't think I can do skips like these guys. Should probably just chill. Try, I guess. Oh, nice jump. There we go. No, not good enough. Oh, I might die here. I tried. I thought I did a good jump. I'm going to try to heal big here. That AoE uh, totems rocking us. Gotta get out of this. Okay. Get Diggy up. No! Keep Diggy alive! Go. Try to get some mana back. Get the healing totem down. He's gotta get. There we go. Gave him lay on hands. Bad thing about that is we don't need mana left. Let's use a mana pot. We'll heal him up. Come on. Stay alive. Need more damage. There's a spider. Right there. Did everything I could. Keep him alive. We're doing it. We did it, guys. Get this totem down. My bad on the pull, but... <laughs> we got him down. It's good that I'm the one who's getting polyed all the time. Do a heal here. It's a T 
team effort right there. All right, time to have our first drink. I saw the spider back here. Trolling around. Trolling around. I don't know if that's what they're looking for. I don't know if they have like a quest for this guy. Oh, there he is. The delirious ancient. This guy's not in, I don't think he's in the, the normal game. I've never seen this kid. This uh, boss here before, but he's quite the boss. We're barely hitting him. Lambo. Give a uh, Lambo. Give the mages missing south. Keep him pulling off the tank. It's a wild offering. What the heck is this? All right, well, let's see what this is all about, guys. Interesting to see what the wild offering is. I guess they're done. Seems like everyone else. Would be cool tank in this place. Be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do that, slay all these scarabs. Get like three mage four mages and a paladin. Get a mage healer as well. Maybe priest would be better. These guys are just getting out of here. Pretty sure. Oh, we're in trouble. Well, we're running out of here now. We have pulled pretty much everything. <laughs> Good thing we're a paladin and our mount's super fast. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think these guys are just getting out. Here, well, let's turn these quests in, well, the ones we got. Guess we're earthing out of here. I always forget to get the bag going. I've I'm forgetting to use the bag buff for the last couple episodes. Uh-oh, when we all left, now everybody's attacking these guys. <laughs> oh, damn it. We didn't set our hearth to, uh, to Tanaris. Damn it. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tenaris and we'll turn these quests in. Here we are, guys, in Dustwall of Marsh. I made a mistake and had my hearth set in Lachmanan, so we had to venture all the way here to meet Tabitha in her secluded cabin in the marsh. So let's have a chat with her. Well met. Your errand must mean much, Paladin, to draw you deep into the marsh. Light bless you. Do you have the tiara trap scene? Has Belratha learned the price of crossing me? Wonderful. You found it. And what's just as important, oh, nice Belratha no longer has it. Thank you, adventurer. I am forever in your debt. And, we get and if both. I sounded a little 
mean before. Pay it no mind. Oh, we got a lot You'll of XP find me too. a much nicer person to those who haven't stolen from me. All right, well, that's one quest turned in, and now we will be heading down to Tanaris in Gadgetstan. We'll turn in a few quests over there. Here we are in Tanaris, guys. We're going to turn in a few quests. First, Troll Temper, Trenton Lighthammer. Did you bring me the Temper, Travis? This is very nice temper indeed, and so much of it. I'll be at work for days before I use it all. Thank you, adventurer. Please take this as payment. The Divino Matic Rod. Time is money, friend. You find a Sergeant Bly, did you get my Divino Matic Rod? You found it! Well done, adventurer. Did you have nice to fight ring. Bly for it? I hope you knocked him and his band down good and hard. They were taking Keep the it real. Wow, so much XP. We leveled up. We are level 43, guys. What do we take next? Probably another rank of vengeance. Will give us 12% uh, bonus to physical and holy damage. You deal for eight seconds after dealing a critical strike from a weapon, swing, spell, or ability. So now we're going to head over here to the Shimmering Flats. We're going to turn in the Gazrilla quest. Let's put these shoulders on, I think. Right? Yeah, so much more strength on them. Big upgrade from the Watchman Pauldrons that we got from Scarlet Monastery. And let's put on the Mason's Fraternity Ring. Not sure if we should get rid of the Seal of Rin. I, I kind of like the Seal of Rin. A little bit more. There's more stats on it. So we'll get rid of the, the Band of Deep Places. I think we got that in Black Fathom Deeps. So there we go. I really like the shimmering flats at nighttime. It looks awesome. It has like a blue hue to it. And we're going to get carrot on a stick, guys. Which is going to increase our mount speed by quite a bit. If it works. I don't think it works, though. I don't think it stacks on top of what we already have. Which is too bad. Getting some loot, guys. Decent amount of loot today. Got level 43. That should help us get into a Nomer gun. And here he is. Whistle Brass Bolts. Be careful where you put that foot of yours, mister. We're not all blessed with the lofty height of a human. Be seeing you. Do you have the scale? I can't wait to try different ways to harness its energy. Wow, you got the scale. Nice. Thanks, adventurer. I can't wait to get to work on this thing. So you saw Gazrilla? Was he as big as they say? And there we go. We finally filled up all of our uh, you know, item slots. We finally got a second trinket. Heal a little bit faster. I don't know if we're actually 3% faster. I'll have to look and see if it stacks. I'll just look it up on Google. Next episode. And I'll, I'll tell you guys about it. But I, I don't think it stacks. Pretty sure it doesn't stack with uh, Pursuit of Justice. Yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. We have one more quest to finish in, no, in Zulfarak. We'll probably go back in there. There's so much loot for us to get. And that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.